Hello everybody, welcome back to the craft room. What I come on now is today, I finished my um, little envelope folder. I've popped on this, I had this flower up, okay? I've made this little rose flower, it's on a ribbon. Put a little flower center, made this little stick pin and put that in. I put another lace trim on the front and then put these beautiful little gems and there's yellow pink and blue all the way along and I've put other goodies inside and I'm not telling you what's in there and this is going to be for my little giveaway so I'm going to tie that back up and I'm not going to tell you who it's for I don't know who it's going to be for because it's going to be somebody who's going to comment and I'm just going to put their names out, pull a name out. You're not going to know who it's for. I'm not, not going to know. I'm just going to pull a name out at random. And I'm going to just send it. I got my logo on the back. And I'm just going to send it to somebody who's commented. And they're not going to know until they receive it in the post. And then I'm going to do the same with this one as well. So, I'm going to give this one as, away as well. So, whoever comments, you're in for a chance for this one. And I'm going to send this one as well. So, there's going to be two giveaways. This one and this one. Okay? So, whoever comments, I'm going to pull out two names. And I don't know who they're going to be. So... Best of luck to everybody. And then I'm going to show you how I made that little envelope. And I've got these big envelopes. And you start off with the large envelope. And I'll tell you it's 12 inches by 9. And I got these. I'm not sure if I got these from Morrison's, I think. But I'm sure you can get them anywhere the larger envelopes okay let me just move down a minute and i tea dyed it and then i sprayed it with the um perfect pearls and i don't know if the camera will pick up the shimmer on it but it's stunning and it don't matter if it's tattered because that gives you that effect you can leave this open if you want a pocket, but I don't really want a pocket because the envelope itself is really full. But if you want it to have a pocket, just take your seal off and pop that seal inside. And then when it's folded, you'll have that pocket. But I don't, as I said, it's, the envelope gets full as it is. So I'm just going to seal that down on there. And this little piece here that's sticking up, I'm just going to pop on some wet glue to seal that bit when it wants to come out. Like, I'm going to seal that down because it'll get in the way of the face. And then I'm going to use that to cover and I'm going to use that for the front and the back cover. And all I'm going to do is fold that, like so, and give that a fold down. Oops. And I'm going to burnish that down. Oops. Okay, so we've got that. And pick out my paper, what I want to put on the back. And I think I'm going to use this one for the back. So, this one is 12 inches and it, so it's just going to fit on your envelope and then I'm going to cut it to there. So I get me. Cut her and 
tá tarde. Und die Tage sind alle zu viel Tag, so ein bisschen. Ups. Und dann ein Gönne. Oder was? Ich weiß nicht. Ich bin einfach gonna brush the edges with my scissors. And if it rips like that, no problem. Oops, like that, see? That doesn't matter. It just gives you that shabby look. Like so. Oops, I tell you, a bit too much for me, but there you go, but it doesn't matter. Oops, that's a bit much too. No mind, but I'll glue it down anyway. So that's enough for me. I'm get rid of the dust off it. And then I got the vintage photo. And I'm just gonna pop some on this. And I'm just gonna ink up the edges. Everybody's okay. They've had a good weekend. It was a lovely, lovely day yesterday. Now it's pouring down with rain now. Never get two days the same, do we? It's a shame. Never mind. It's a nice day to be in the shed. And I'm gonna fold this piece in half. Give that a good burnish. Put those bits off. And I'm gonna use the tape for this. You could use wax glue. It's up to you, but I like to use the uh, tape for this because this is, um, I find it a bit, you've got a bit more wiggle room with a wet one, but um, I find this a bit better for me for th to put this on, to be honest. And you don't use, are you, you use too much glue when you put glue on this big piece. And then I just put a little piece down there. And another piece down there. And then a piece either side of the crease. Like so. And then you use what you want to use. And I just take off a piece on each edge. Like so. It's not quite on the corner. Take the middle right off. There we go, down in the bin. And then, because this is not, doesn't matter which way this goes. Make sure you've got your centre piece. 
lay that down like that. Take that one out. And that piece. And that one. And then that one. You got that. And then what I do, I just gently fold it back up and give that another crease. Okay, and then rip it over, turn it over, and rip that over so you've got your envelope back there. And then get you another page while you want to fold it. Fold over. And I'm going to have this pretty pinky one. Like that. Move that out of the way. Now, because this is not double sided, which you should have, if it's a double sided, more is better. Because this is not, it doesn't matter because you can. And I'm going to cut that the same width as that. And keep that for tags. And put my like that in there. Now, got to find your centre, so fold it up for your centre, okay, so here's your centre, now you want to fold this into your centre line and give that a good crease, okay, and then you want to fold this side and give that fold down so you can either keep it that way okay or you could turn it over and have your paper facing this way because you're going to put it on there and then you're going to have your pocket so you're not going to see this you're not going to see this one because you can cover these with your pattern paper. All you will see is this piece on there, which that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And you're going to put a pocket on you, so you're not going to see that bit. Okay, but if you've got double-sided paper, you don't need to do that. It's up to you. If you've got single paper, that's fine because you can cover this piece. But I'm going to just ink up these edges on these as well. So I'm going to fold it over and ink up all these edges now. this way and these are going to fold down this side okay so now all you've got to do is fold that in half and just put your glue down the central line of your book when this wants to come out just put it on the centre line of your book and put plenty on. I mean, you could sew it in, it's up to you. 
if you want to sew it in. But I just stick it in. And then put your page in like there and then fold your book back up. Okay. And grease it down so it sticks. Fold it over and go set this side. And then when you open it, that'll stick down to there. Okay, and then what you should do is open this side and you want to glue this edge, hope you can see, just on this edge, and then along the bottom edge. Plenty on. And along that edge, plenty on. And then open it back up. And then what I do, I stick a pin on there to help that stay there. Then open this side and do the same. Just along the edge, okay, and along the edge, bottom edge, right there, and I'm going to pop it on the bottom edge of this, this one. And then close that side. And I'm going to get the clip to hold that side for a bit. And there you've got your two pockets. I won't do that yet because it's not stuck. But you've got your two pockets. And then this is going to be for your... And that's going to open. And then you've got two pockets on there. That. And I'm going to pop that on there to hold that a minute. And then while that's sticking down, I'm going to get the other piece. And I'll use this one because it's. And I'm going to. I can't stick that there in a minute. I want to. Cut that. Open that and measure your square. So my square is going to be to there. Want two of them. So I'll put that back on there. Move that out of the way. And we want to cut that on there. And then that. That one for tags. Oops. Oops. Cut another one the same. Okay. That's okay. My, I'll get my little rubber and I'm gonna rub that. To mark out, and then I'm gonna stick these in. Well, first off, I want to ink these up. I 
that one. So I'm going to put it on with the tape. Waiting for that to come up to there. <laughs> Comes out so slow. <laughs> I got the shimmer one, but... Um, I haven't got much left, so I'm going. I'm going uh, generous with it till the other one arrives. <laughs> Take the papers off of there. The pick the the tape. up the right way and put that on to my paper pull that out pull that one out pull that one out and that one's there and when you fold that now Gently fold it down. Like that. Get your bone folder. And when you've got your pocket on and you make the tag, you've got to make the tag. Oh, I didn't pull that paper out. Ugh, didn't pull that paper out. I thought I did. Get my tweezers. I didn't get the back enough though. That one. This stupid. And if I run stuck. <laughs> but when you make your tag, make it thick so it'll hold that down then. So to go this side now. And then do the same thing with this side. Put these to them. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So this is right up the right way, and that, that's the way, and then pop this one on the same. Take that off, take that 
that one off. That one. And that one. And then fold this back down to the center. Increase this one down. Like that. And like that. Okay. And now I want to cover this piece because you're going to see that when I get a pocket. I wanted to cover it, so I'm going to use this piece to put a pocket. So, pop that over there. And then I'm just going to cut that pretty pattern off there. And this just gives it all stability. But if you want, me, if you just got single-sided paper and you're doing it all, you're covering it twice. It gives it a bit more stability, to be honest. If you're putting double papers on. I mean, you could use this piece for your pocket if you wanted, but um, I'm going to put a lace pocket because I like it with a bit of lace on it for a pocket. So I'm going to just cover it for I'm going to cover it with this and then put a lace pocket. on to the bottom like that and pop these off there and pull it straight like that and then they'll get closed but this will be the pocket and then we've got a Remember, um, mark that to close it. So they'll get closed. And then that's all it is then, is to fill it. And to put a lace pocket or whatever pocket you want. But make sure when you do it, you put a lace pocket on. Like I've put um, this pocket on you on this one, and you put your tags, and these are real hard chipboard. And then when you've got it in your pocket, they load them down, and then you have got pocket there, and they go right down to the bottom. There, they're quite deep. Okay. deep and then you've got the pocket there and then you just cover your front and your back and that's your envelope made so I hope you like that and that helps and you could decorate that if if you wanted you could you know on the, this one I think it is let me take these out this was just my template. I sta I put plain one here and I stamped on them ones. Let me just move them. I stamped on both them then, look. But I put a darker one and a lighter purple on them and I stamped them. 
So you could do that if it's an idea. And then these goes in this little pocket. They're just little journaling cards. There's butterfly tags in there. Just popped. And then these tags, as I said, they're chipboard. And I've put them into all the pockets down. So, uh, yeah. And then I put the lace on the bottom. But this was just my template one to see how we made it. So I hope that helps. And you can decorate the front while you want to do it, decorate it. And as I said, if everybody leaves a comment, they could win that one. Because I'll pull your name out. And you could win this one. I'm going to give this one away as well. So, if anybody wants this one and comments, and then anybody want that one, I'm going to give away these two. So, thank you all for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you all soon. So, bye for now.